Testing, one, two. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, yeah. We do have a microphone on you guys tonight, too. So, Because uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, we, we, we live stream here, and, and it looks like nobody's in the audience because you can't hear it unless you're on a mic. So, so you got to still scream and clap very loud if you can. But I uh, just want to remind everybody we are live streaming this tonight for, uh, uh, for you guys, and it's going to be a wonderful show. I'm not going to introduce you because your brother's here to do that. But I do want to remind everybody that's watching tonight online, uh, Venmo and PayPal, please donate money. That helps help these guys. You know, they don't need the money, but they, ha <laughs> they have people that they need to pay is what it is. So, there's, yeah, they're looking for them all the time. So, But uh, thank you, everybody, for coming in to support this tonight. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Art Smith. And, uh, again, thank you all very much. Wonderful. I haven't had applause like that for months. This is, this is absolutely great. It's so nice to see so many of my friends here and so many people that I don't know. Kai and John who are getting married on Saturday. <laughs> and and it's, just, uh, it's just so nice to meet new people. But uh, anyway, <laughs> that's, you don't need to listen to me. But uh, thanks, Mark and Julia, for putting this together. This all started out when um, they... they, they CD, hi, uh, hi, yeah, I'm losing it tonight, sorry, <laughs> Highway Islands, <laughs> I passed out a few dozen of them, <laughs> but uh, I gave one to Mark and he loved it, and then all of a sudden they were coming out for your wedding, and it was like, Mark, can you, what do you think, would you like to have them come over here, and he's like, oh. so that's why we're here, but anyway, um, my little brother, my mother always liked him best, <laughs> um, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, we have we have to wear hats, you know. It is what it is. But um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Carrie Carrie makes those hats. She she sat down in a couple hours and made me one. She's got the fastest hands. Ever. Anyway, uh, I, before I get too carried away, Carrie Miner, Ray Smith, my dear lovely brother, <laughs> people I absolutely adore. <laughs> Strange birds.
We've been driving all night, trying to make town by morning. And the highway signs only flash lies in the morning. And the places where folks used to go, empty main streets, everything closed. Highway islands all the same. They take away the local money chain. Then the town is gone. Easy off, easy on. Then the town is gone, gone, gone. Easy off, easy on. Then the town is gone. Easy off, easy on. Then the town is gone. Thanks, that's all for our latest record. Thank you so much. That is our title cut from our latest record. Thanks so much for coming out. Y'all are like really just so wonderful. Hey, he picked up the y'all. I did. That sounded really I never natural. say that. <laughs> y'all. Y'all. Yeah, it's, it's easier than you all, but you know, that's my Connecticut voice. I'd say you all, but uh, yeah, y'all down here for sure. When I started Thanks. talking to uh, my niece Marissa on the phone, she's like, "How are y'all doing?" I'm like, "Oh, we're all we're all fine, you know." It's like a little. Anyway. We're all doesn't work as well as y'all. Yeah, we're all. You could say wall, like but that wouldn't be good either. Raw. Hey, maybe I'll start something new, right? There you go, something new. So, um, I wrote this song. Oh, during our worldwide shutdown, I, we were safe harboring my my 90-something-year-old mother, Marion. We call her Mighty Marion because she's amazingly mighty. And I was in our local liquor store, and because um, she likes her 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 secret is a glass of white wine every night and lots of carrots. She wanted me to tell you that. <laughs> and um, so I was telling the the owner that I was taking a break. You know, I do that during the holidays sometimes, and. And he said, well, it's a good thing not everybody does that in this town, or I'd be out of business. <laughs> and then he told me about a young man that would come in every day. And then that night I woke up at 3 in the morning, and I got visited by Angeline, the woman that this song is named after. And uh, this is the song, Angeline. So she plays and harp with a rack. the other thing I did was <laughs> during the worldwide shutdown is I sort of learned how to play guitar and harmonica at the same time. Yeah. Which yeah. is like tapping your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. Oh, wait. Let's try again. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. That's I would have missed that. Thank <laughs> you, Ray. <laughs> it's lovely to be here. It's lovely to see you all. Thank yeah. you. And especially Julia and Mark and Ken, our sound man. Thank you.
a six pack and a bottle of gin with a glint in his eye and a desperate grin. And it's the preachers and the folks living on the skids, passing by the housewives and their little kids, highway men and cross and the lonely girls are coming into his way. That way I won't have to stop And every night I sweep the floor Pull the shade and lock the door I run the local liquor store You've been in a hundred times before The one out on the highway with the neon light Sleepy little town on the edge of night and the folks living on the skids Passing by the housewives with their little kids Highwaymen and cops and the lonely girls Are coming into each way of the world Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Gary Miner there. Yes, indeed. So we met um, 24 years ago, and uh, there was a local guy at the song school from out here, uh, Bob Sinclair over here, who's a fine singer-songwriter. If you don't know him, he's awesome. And uh, we met Bob when Carrie and I met. So we've been together 24 years. And so we've known you 24 years, I, Bob. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Well, we sure appreciate everybody coming out. It's such a fun place. You know, if it was like the cowbell bar, I, I don't think anybody would come here. It's got. It can only be guitar. You know, yeah. It could be the harmonica bar. Mm, I don't know. It still scares some folks. The drum bar. No. But guitar, that definitely works. Guitar bar. And it's such an honor to play here. So we live in a little town uh, near Boulder, Colorado, and uh, it's called Rollinsville. Our town's so small that if you're driving on the Peak to Peak Highway and you happen to blink at that moment, you'll actually miss it. Yeah. Um, and Netherland is the other small town that's seven miles north of us. And we kind of wrote this song about Ned just all about all the great little towns all across the U.S. that are suddenly becoming very populated and very, very much the place to live, and Asheville included in that, I, I hear, Absolutely, too. Absolutely, Asheville, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, this is called Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave. And this is on our new record, too.
When I moved to this small town Was a little bit dirty, a little bit down Everybody seemed to just be passing through it Used to be when the wind would blow Folks would run back down below Leaving us locals here in our Shangri-La Yeah, but Shangri-La got sold And the money's like a tidal wave Kind of like a southbound train It's like a hurricane You can't stop and the bunny's like a waterfall The wind is gonna take it all And once it's gone You can't go back Can't go back People used to move here for the trees For the mountains, for the breezes it Wasn't all about the economy then the mountains got sold to a company, expanded the place, made it cheap. More people, more scars upon the land. John Denver saw the plan, and the money's like a tidal wave, kind of like a southbound train. It's like a hurricane, you can't stop. And the money's like a waterfall. The winner's gonna take it all And once it's gone You can't go back Now I know I wasn't born here So I can't stake that claim Still I made myself a home here Just the same When I moved to this small town Was a little bit dirty, a little bit down Everybody seemed to just be passing through but Now we're having traffic jams Parking problems, master plans And the hippies have all but gone away There's nothing left to say And the money's like a child It's like a hurricane, you can't stop. And the money's like a waterfall, the winner's gonna take it all. And once it's gone, you can't go back. Yeah, once it's gone, you can't go back. Yeah, once it's gone, you can't go back. Can't go back Can't go back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much. much. I see a couple of uh, our, our dear friends way back in the corner back there. See, I know, Aiden, I see you it's leaking back there. And Christine, both beautiful. Friction Farm, great, great duo. Beautiful music. We didn't know we had so many friends in Asheville. <laughs> we may have to build a tiny Turns house down out, here. You know, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Mountains are calling, and I'm a skip. Of course, these are mountains too. So it's funny because we always br we we wrote this set list, right? And so if you've noticed, I've taken on my guitar, off my guitar, on my bazooki, off the bazooki, on the guitar. Keeps it thin. So now I'm taking off my bazooki to put on my guitar. Yes. Yeah. Now the new album came about mostly uh, during COVID. We had started writing it before COVID came in, and. Uh, we were going to release it in that, uh, what is that, 2020, June 2020, and it just... May uh, 2020, yeah. May 2020, and, and then it was like, well, why, why release an album now? You know, we can't really play it anywhere, and 
the streaming from our house was horrible because, <laughs> uh, you know, it starts off good and then all of a sudden you're doing like, like this. The words are here. Coming mama, out mama, over mama. there. And the and music's over there. You know, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was, we weren't, we weren't selling anything like that. So, <laughs> but uh, it gave us more time to work on this record and come up with some new, new thoughts and ideas. And the one we were going to release in 2020, you know, I don't know what that, well, it, it still would have been fun and good, but yeah, we have more time. So. So here we I go. Have a, I have a, a whole new to me guitar on tonight, thanks to my awesome brother-in-law, Art Smith. Thank you, Art. He'll be lucky if it's not in my suitcase on the way home. And a whole new capo, and um, it's good to shake things up, right? Yeah? So my big, big brother taught me a few licks when I was a kid, because he's nine years older than me, and he was like my, he's my guitar hero, you know? And so he taught me... Key, oh, wrong okay. tuning, so okay. Sorry, next set, well, I'll play Wipeout, but <laughs> so I, I owe it all to him. So, so I wrote this, I always do this at the end of an album, and we're just about done. I write another song that we have to put on the album, I'm just really good that way, you know. And um, I was talking to a friend of mine, a, a dear friend of mine out in San Francisco, who's telling me about his grandfather who was 90 like seven years old and shoveling his farm driveway in the middle of a blizzard and came back in and laid down on the couch and passed away. And how everyone in the family said that he would have been so happy to go that way and that he died with his boots on. And so I, I got that line and then I was just thinking about how we were coming out of this time of not seeing our loved ones. I hadn't seen my three boys and I just, it was such a, a time, you know, and I wanted to write something that was kind of anthem-like, happy-like, um, I don't know, just kind of uplifting for the album, and this is called North Star. Just 
Thank you, Kerry Mayer. Thank you. Here she goes. <laughs> She's getting good at this change, yeah. Yeah. So this next song, um, it's a song I wrote about living the day, which is what we're all doing right here. So I'm preaching to the choir, but um, uh, I've been through cancer treatment, and uh, when I was finishing my radiation, uh, prostate cancer, um, they had a little gong there. At the, at the hospital where when you're done, you go and you ring the gong and they go, congratulations, you know. So the, the whole four weeks I was telling them uh, I'd like to come and play part of one of my songs. It's a real positive message and then ring the gong, you know. And um, I told them a few times and so the last day I come out of the radiation session and the hall is filled with people from this hospital. Oh, yeah. They're all busy too, you know. I, I don't know how they found the time but the hall was lined with people, and uh, we did a little video of the song, and we ended up putting it up online, and uh, it was a really fun, positive way to end it. I was like, I'm not sure I can sing this on that day without crying, because they also took away my testosterone, so, <laughs> it, you know, it's like it turns you into half a woman right there, so. Uh, What's so wrong about that? <laughs> emotional, I was fixing my hair all the time. I have to say crazy. that he does more cleaning and he drives way more chill. It's so, you know, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. And this has been a very so recent journey. This is the radiation was just in December, and um, uh. we just found out two, three weeks ago uh, with a new oncologist that Ray gets to stop his treatment one year earlier than they thought. So, <laughs> yes, sorry. That's awesome. I was, uh, that, was, that was the only thing bombing me out. I want my testosterone back. <laughs> Please, give me back now. But, uh, he still plays a mean lead, though. <laughs> well, you know. So this is called Only One Today. And it came about because we were driving out of the driveway one morning, and I, 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 we were talking about something, and I said, well, you know, there's always more tomorrows. There's only one today. So we got to, you know, we got to do this, whatever we are going to do, you know, take the trash to the dump, something like that. <laughs> and, uh, um, we live in the mountains, you know. So then she wrote that down, her. She wrote that down. Uh -huh. Her. Over there, her. And uh, and she reminded me later, and I wrote the song. So okay. Here we go. Sweet. <laughs> you can only be lucky as the day is long. Living your life, singing your song. Kicking the tires and you're on your way Always more tomorrows, only one today I used to be angry, he used to go fast Then I got old and it kicked my ass It ain't for the lighthearted, they say Always more tomorrows, only one today Always more tomorrows, only one today. I'm still in a hurry at a different pace I still like to feel the wind in my face I act like a child most of the day Always more tomorrows, only one today Sometimes I think it's good to let go Of the things that hold you down on the floor Kicking the tires and you're on your way Always more tomorrows, only one today Always more tomorrows, only one today Always more tomorrows, only one today Only one
one. That's it. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. This is a banging first set, I got to say. If you came for Kumbaya, you're not going to get that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a song I wrote. I, I read a lot. I used to work at Boulder Public Library for 21 years, and uh, I'm a huge reader. I love to read. And so um, when I ran out of the songs about all the my love stories and sad stories and things, I started deciding to write ballads from books that I read. I like to read a lot of historical fiction. It's one of my favorite things. And I wrote this after I read a book called I Shall Be Near to You. Is about a young woman who uh, she and her young husband, newlywed husband, buy a farm, and then the Civil War hits and he goes off to fight. So after a few weeks, she decides to join him. And I went online, I read all these stories, true stories of women from both sides, South and North, who um, went and fought in the army dressed as men. There were over 1,200 women who fought in the Civil War. There were six n women who uh, gave birth in the middle of battlefields. There was one woman who was caught giving birth and then put in jail, and Abe Lincoln um, freed her, gave her three years back pay of her service, and let her keep her baby and not do jail time. The stories go on and on and on. And if you look at some of these women dressed as, you know, captains of, you know, like they made it up to high-ranking officers, um, you know, it's amazing. It's pretty, pretty unbelievable and back then they just checked your hair and they checked your teeth that was the physical so this is called Willie Join the local infantry. Marched out of town with a five-penny drum. Carried my heart into the morning sun. Men in town won't leave me alone. They keep coming around my home. Gotta make a plan, gotta leave this place. Gonna find Willie and his sweet face. Tears of joy Walked into the woods to be alone Jesse, oh Jesse, please go back home Well, I have come to fight with you Please don't tell me what to do I will stay here by your side Dressed as a man but still your bride took us by surprise. I lost sight of Willie that night. Didn't find him till the morning light. Oh, Willie, oh, Willie, please don't go 
way we've got a baby on the way his last breath hit the morning chill there and then i lost my will Jeremiah Willie. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Man, this is fun. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, thanks, Ken. This place has like the best sound guy I think we've ever worked with. Ken is like, please, Ken is just he's such a good guy. I love Steve up at E Town Hall in Boulder, too. And we get to play there in October. We're going to be doing a, a big show up in Boulder and raising money for prostate cancer research. And uh, we're partnering with UC Health Foundation. It's going to be super awesome. So I, I think right now I love Ken, though. So <laughs> I asked him if he was going to be there the whole time because we've got sound guys that they get you checked and then they go off and have dinner. And he's like, dinner? I don't get served dinner here. He's like, what the, what's wrong with this place? No. No, he didn't say you that. You got guitar. That's when Julia no, said, oh, that. don't give him any ideas. So, Ken, can I get a little more uh, uh, reverb in this baby? Hey, Ken, I get a little more reverb on my guitar? Thanks, man. <laughs> so we're going to do a, uh, another song we wrote during um, our sequestering at home and... Uh, as the world was getting crazy with politics and the de division, it just it got me thinking about my roots as a 60s kid and that uh, I always sort of err on the side of love, you know? Love's a good thing. No matter what side you're on, I think everybody would agree we could use more love, you know? And uh, so I, uh, I wrote this one. It's called Rootin' for Love. What a coincidence. See united we stand in the body we fall. It seems like we're falling right now. Can't come together at all. I see a lot of hate. I see a lot of love. That's where the battle lines are drawn. When it comes to pushing the show, I'm, I'm rooting, rooting for love. love. It's in my blood. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for love. love. It's in my blood. I can't help rooting for love. Can't help rooting for love. 
love Well, I grew up on John Lennon And Marvin Gaye, too You sing about the power in love And brotherhood We stood side by side Trying to take down the wall Beards grow longer, that's all. And I'm moving through love. Still my blood, I'm moving through love. Still my blood, I can't help moving through love. Can't help moving through love. They say united, united we stand, and, and divided, divided we fall. It seems like we're falling right now, can't, can't come together can't at all. Still I'm in the love. Right on. Love is good. Thank you, thank you. So I, I th are we going to do one more and then take a little break so we can pick it up and move around? And we, uh, we got one more, or two more. What do you think there? We got two more? Okay, okay right on. Cool, and then we're going to come back and play till like one. So yeah, right, right. Please, please hang. Don't go anywhere. Mark and Julia don't Drinks know are on us. <laughs> Don't quote me, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where did I find you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm in a hurry. So this is another one Carrie wrote after reading some stuff about Ladies of the Night in Boulder, Colorado, which was uh, probably their highest per capita income in the area at the time, <laughs> other than people supplying miners. And, uh, um, yeah, down on Canyon Boulevard, which is like a main, main street, they had all the ladies of the night houses, and a lot of the houses are still there. And uh, they would the do battle with Madons, each other. Yeah. They would do battle with each other. They'd burn down each other's places. And <laughs> it's like wild, wild west. Wild west. I was uh, living with my mom um, in Chautauqua Park for about six months. We couldn't bring her up to our house right away from Wisconsin, where we rescued her from. And um, so I'd either run straight up the mountain in the morning, I'd kept running again, and, or I'd run down the mountain to the cemetery. And in the cemetery, there's all these unmarked graves of these young girls um, who died of the, of the Spanish flu and who were working for in these basic, basically workhouses, the ladies of the night. And this story is a true story. When I started digging into Carnegie Historical Library, I found an, an old newspaper clipping about a woman named Trixie Lee. And Bugtown refers to that area of Boulder that where all the women had their houses and Canyon Boulevard was actually Water Street at the time. And the history is so rich and, and so beautiful. And, and just I just love that. And so I decided to honor Trixie Lee. I'll tell you what happened after the song. 
that um, this is for her ode to Trixie Lee bug pen. They came with pockets full of gold. Some were young, some were mean and old. And Trixie Lee, she took up with Freddie Hawks, a rich man whose wife ruled with an iron hand. When she found Trixie Lee, shot five rounds into her sly body. And I left the rapid girls on Water Street. No one ever saw the lights of me. Thank you. That's on our new album. You want more? Oh, okay. 
Hey, baby, let your hair hang down. Hey, baby, let your hair hang down. Falling like soft rain on the ground. Hey, baby, put your lips on mine. Put your lips on mine Soft like silk and sweet like wine Well, I never had another kiss taste like that You're the best lover that I've ever had You're the best lover that I've ever had You're the best lover that I've Hey, baby, won't you let me in? Hey, baby, won't you let me in? It's cold outside and I'm shivering. Hey, baby, turn your light down low. Steve Earle. This is something that we sang at our wedding. 
And uh, uh, I don't know if it'll work on one. If I do, you got them. Yes, by now you know that I'm devoted to I love that. The Everly Brothers, boy, those guys were something else. I met their sound man, Sparky Nielsen, and he's, uh, he lives in Rollinsville, of all places, where, like, no one lives there, but uh, uh, he worked for... Uh, really? Somebody what? knows him. You know Sparky Nielsen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, more people probably should know him, but they don't, but... He told some funny stories. They'd have to come in from different sides of the stage because they hated each other so much. <laughs> like sure. sure. Yeah, I'd love to. That'd be great. Hey, Ken, could we get a little more verb there, dude? Remember that? Love that verb. On a dreamy boat in North Carolina. And it's beautiful. When you gonna get back home to me? When, when you gonna get back home to me? When, when you gonna get back home to me? When, when you gonna get back? When you gonna get back home to me? When, when you gonna get back home to me? When, when you gonna get back home to me? When, when you gonna get back? Baby, when, when you're, you're gone, gone, I can't see your eyes. The sun don't seem to rise. rise. Baby, when, when you're, you're gone, gone, it turns into night. Night turns into something that ain't right. Without you by my side. When are you gonna get back home to me? When are you gonna get back home to me? When are you gonna get back home to me? When are you gonna get back? When are you gonna get back home to me? When are you gonna get back home to me? When are you gonna
say you will meet me in your dreams we can share the same scene baby all night long i'll sing you like a song and i know you're gonna sing along You by my side. When you gonna get back home to me? When you gonna get back home to me? When you gonna get back home to me? When you gonna get back? When you gonna get back home to me? 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 Thanks so much. That's an older one. Another one? Okay, another one. <laughs> we, write a t we wrote a tight set list, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Oblinger and Linda Lawson have entered the house. Mark was the producer of my very first album I ever made, and uh, he gave me my wings to fly. That's what I think when I think of Mark, and we were going to have the fortune of singing with them this weekend at our beautiful Kai and John's wedding. We're so excited for you, too. He sang with Pure Prairie League and Firefall, so he's, uh, you might have heard him. No, we can't no. do that. We don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll I practice said. that tomorrow. We'll do it at the wedding. I guess playing someone else's guitar with their capo is kind of like using someone else's maybe brush and comb. I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> Any other good analogies out there you can think of? Or? No, I don't think I'd use someone else's too, but no. That's like the guy, uh, we went down to do a private party and then realized for the first time ever in all the years we played, I left the harmonicas and like our set list and everything, which is not a big deal because we always go on the fly anyway. But um, he said, well, come to my music store, you can borrow one of my mic or my harmonicas. And then I said, well, I'd have to buy it, right? He goes, no, I can clean it and put it back out and sell it. And I'm like, not buying harmonicas from that shop. I didn't know he said that. <laughs> I didn't let on, though. I, I played cool, you know. So th this is a song Carrie wrote. It's called Skeleton Tree, and it's about uh, the city of Boulder, uh, using eminent domain to take some land that belonged to uh, Hannah tell Barker. The whole story now. Come on now. Well, you introduced <laughs> you introduced one of mine. So oh, okay. I'm going to get you All back right. here. Sorry, so. okay. No, you ready to talk? talk? You tell <laughs> him about it. Go ahead. My family hails from Connie Cork Skibbereen in the southwest coast of Ireland. And um, one day I was waiting to ride the bus down to my work at the library and I noticed this old timey photograph and it turned out it was Hannah Connell Barker. And upon research, I found out that Ka Hannah Connell came from Skibbereen right around the time my great-great-uncle came across right before the famine, maybe great-great-great-uncle. And um, so I read more and more about her. And she, well, this tells the story, but um, basically when you come to Netherland to visit us, you'll see a beautiful reservoir there. And that was once the land of Ezra and Hannah Barker. And she fought and fought and fought. And this is called Skeleton Tree.
life has died I'm a child of seven Time at you feels like heaven We got married in the dwindling pond Town folk came one and all ooh, 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 ooh. Six years later I lay as for two Said they were aiming to build a dam, flood our home in Netherland. You got to build a dam to fight a dam. You got to give your heart to love a man. Carrie Minor Thank there. you. Skillet and cheese. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Art and Connie, for, you know, definitely, for turning me on to these guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, we're going to go offline here because you need a break. And uh, they're not done, so please uh, don't, don't walk out the door. But uh, everybody online who's watching, thank you very much for watching tonight. We appreciate it very much. We are going to record the second set, okay. but we will not be live. Okay. So just a reminder, if everybody's got a cell phone right now, please go on it. You can go on our YouTube page. Please subscribe. You can watch the show anytime you want to because <laughs> we just recorded it. It's live now. It's, it's documented. It's on there. And the second set will be too. But... Uh, Again, please donate if you're watching online. We're going to say goodbye. Let's say goodbye, Ken. Ready? Goodbye, everybody online. Wish you were here for the second set. <laughs> but again, thank you guys very much. Thanks, Mark. Take a break. Please stick Short around. Short little break. Short little break. We've got a lot of fun stuff to play. So.